Hey everyone, it is Facebook Live Tuesday and I have a good one for you today. I don't know if you were on here last time, but last time I was afraid I had broccoli in my teeth. Today I'm self-conscious because I put on two different earrings. I don't know if you can tell, one's purple and one's blue. They're completely different earrings. And I thought I'd cover them up. I went, no, what the heck? I'm teaching people to be imperfectly perfect, that it's okay just to be you in your message, in your videos, whatever. That's the way it is. There has been a time when I used to wear sometimes two different shoes. It happened a couple of times. That's me. <laughs> so today, and by the way, if you're on, please type in your name and say hi and welcome you and so I can welcome you. So today, this topic is are you striving or thriving and how to know the difference. So um, a long time ago, I had a client that I worked with. I worked with her on self-esteem and how to deal with stress, lots of things, and she would do certain things and to help herself. But I noticed that even though she had been coming religiously, every time she saw me, she saw me about every two weeks, she'd always have that same look on her face, exhausted, looking sad. And she just had that same low energy. And then I'd ask her one day, it just came to me, I said, are you striving or thriving in your life? How do you feel? And she immediately said, oh, I'm, I strive, I don't thrive. And I said, why? Why wouldn't you want to thrive? That's not acceptable, I said. Why is that acceptable to you? And she just kind of put her hands up in the air and said, it's kind of the way my life is, you know, a good thing happens and then a negative thing and I just kind of accept it. She accepted that her life could be never in a thriving state. And I really thought about that and I thought, that's sad and how many other people must feel that way. I know a lot of people feel that way. So what I'm gonna do is define the difference of how I see striving and thriving and then I'm gonna show you some ways to be living in a thriving state that you deserve. So striving is about overcoming something and making it, but it also implies that it's filled with struggle or driving against something. As opposed to thriving, thriving is going beyond making it. It's about flourishing and growing. That's the place I was trying to help her with. It's the place that I try to be in because I'm not saying I'm always in there, but that is my focus. And that's what I'm helping you today with. Do you want a focus of thriving? Of course you do. But let's look at it first. If you did an assessment of yourself, would you say you're mostly striving or thriving? And to ask yourself, what prevents you from thriving? Now, this is a very short video, but you can go back later and journal. What prevents me from thriving? And I'm gonna give you a few reasons. There can be many, but I think a few reasons that people don't thrive in their life is because it's a habit. I'm just in the, in the habit of striving. I wake up, I eat, sleep, work, and do it all over again. Overcome challenges, eat, sleep, work, overcome challenges. That becomes a lifestyle for many people. It's a habit. So it's also about accepting less than. You know, I'm doing okay. You know, it's that doing okay. Or it's a feeling of, this is my lot in life. I grew up with difficulty. I guess this is the way it is. It's an acceptance of my lot in life. So I am making a statement today no, 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 we don't have to accept this. This doesn't have to be our lot in life. It's just something that we've repeated over and over, but it doesn't have to be true because it's not, unless you allow it. So I'm gonna give you, for those of you who wanna thrive, and I'm sure everyone wants to thrive, but sometimes we're stuck in how do I make it happen? 
I'm going to give you three things right now of how to live and be in a thriving state in your life. Number one is just deciding, just having the decision that striving is unacceptable and that you deserve more. And if you don't believe that, then you need to do in my world i would do tapping on it i would tap on not deserving i would tap on this that this is this is the way it is or do any technique you know to start challenging that belief you can use reframing why is it not okay to be in this state and what can i do about it you need to make that decision it's unacceptable number two is in order to be thriving, you have to know what it looks like. If you have no definition of what a thriving life looks like, then you can't attain it. That's like the same thing with creating a vision. The vision has to be clear. So here's an example, and, and you can be thriving in all parts of your life, your business, your relationships, your health, everything. So let's take an example of money. Striving around money would be mean uh, would mean paying your bills, but striving and pushing against some difficulties, but just making it and getting there is striving. Thriving would look like this, that you make a decision that I am going to make more than enough money, have plenty of leftover, easily pay my bills, and have tons of money for savings and investments. That's thriving. Here's another example with relationships. You have difficulty with some loving connections and you push and do as much as you can to make some connections. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but it feels difficult to connect. A thriving state would be having an affirmation and energy that you focus on that says, I easily and effortlessly connect from my heart and see the good in others. Having strong affirmations like that leads you more towards it and thriving in a bigger, better way. So those are some examples. What does your thriving life look like? And I would write it down in all areas, in my business, <clears throat> relationships, health, money, spiritual spiritual be wonderful it's easy to say i want a more spiritual life but what would that look like for everybody it would look different <clears throat> for me in spirituality i thrive when i have an ongoing visualization practice where i connect with my higher power and i feel <clears throat> the essence of my higher power within me and then i visualize what it is that i want in life from that energy whoa that not just thriving it takes it to another level it takes me to this wow level of oh my gosh i have infinite possibilities to create that is a high thriving state that i i i try to work on every day <clears throat> and what's number three that you can do to be in a thriving state is to make the commitment now that i know what it is i've decided i want it so you make a commitment every day to thrive and a way to do that is post it put it somewhere where you see it today i thrive in and make that specific put it in your phone reminder and wake up and ask yourself this one question what today will i do to thrive in my life and what will it look like and if you've journaled it you already know what it would look like so those are the three things that you can do to thrive i'll go over them making the decision that it is unacceptable to be striving and I am in a thriving state and this is what I'm going to do. Number two, write down and be clear what does it look like so you know what it is that you're going to go towards. And number three, make that commitment every day. I do it with a question. What will I do to thrive today in my life that will bring me joy, that will bring me success, or connection, whatever it is that you're focusing on. So I would love to hear your comments, what hit you, what was an aha, an insight you got, or maybe what you're going to start doing as a result of listening to this video. Thank you for listening and have a thriving day. Bye-bye everyone.